And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who come in late, we are now having a little cooking session right here on the scene. Putting the pot on in here. And we'd like for you to join in with us and have a ball. Hi, this is Dara, and I want to welcome you back. Today I'm going to talk about setting up my staff utilization table. Um, right now we use Confluence for this work. We just have a you know, static table in Confluence that shows everybody's um, you know, role and responsibilities and how many hours they have dedicated to the project, what team they're on. But that's it. It's just a static thing. It doesn't connect to anything. It doesn't, um, we can't really use it for anything other than like a quick lookup of information about that person. So I'm hoping to build something that's going to be a little bit more useful um, by having it in Notion where we have the rest of our project. So let's go in and I'm going to go ahead and create, um, and I guess I could just click here, create a list, I mean a table. For the first person, I'm going to create a person named Liliana. I want to put her role. And she's a UX strategist. Okay, so I've got her responsibilities, so if anyone wants to know what she's involved in doing. And her contact. I have too many L's there. Okay, and then the last I'm going to put is the team that she's on for just her general uh, information. And I'm going to use a select menu for this. Okay, she's on the design team. So that's the basic information that I want to track just what the person is and, and uh, who the person is and, and what they're doing. Uh, the next piece is then to start talking about well, how many hours they had. So as I said, we keep this in Confluence, it's going to be a static field. But here in Notion, I'm actually going to end up using this information um, in our workflow process. So let's go ahead and create an allocation property. I'm going to make it a number. And when I think about the allocations, I'm not just thinking about um, how much time she has for the week. I actually want to do it in the according to our sprint plan. So we have two weeks in sprint plan or two, two weeks per sprint. So I want to see how many hours she's working in the two week sprint and that's going to be 26 hours. The other property I'm going to add here is out of the office and usually this should just be blank. So allocations is going to be pretty steady. Uh, our allocations shouldn't change much. I mean, they might change over the course of the project, but they shouldn't change between sprints. It's, that should be stat static. But the out of the office, as we go into sprint planning, the first thing we want to do is how many hours is somebody going to be away? If they're on vacation, they're not going to be able to do their full allocation, and we're going to want to know that. So that's going to be it for what I'm holding in the staff table to start with. I'm going to create a relationship to meetings. But let me go ahead and use the magic of video and add in the full staff. Okay, so I now have all my staff in here. And then the other thing I've added is I just put this ES in front of the staff name. Um, for me, this is important because it, or for me, this is a convention I'm starting because if I have tables that have similar names, I just want to know what projects they belong to. So I'm starting to do this convention of just putting the name of the project in the beginning. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add a view. Okay, I don't need this snow team. I'm just going to put the project uh, folks in the front and then the content and then design and then dev, which is kind of a little bit of how most of the work runs anyway. And I'm going to make it full width so I can just see everything on the page. 
right, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and create my meetings. So this is a problem that I've had on many projects where nobody really takes into account how much time we spend in meetings and how that time takes away from our allocations. So I have this, uh, so I have this thing here that I've created that just shows the standard meetings we have, our standard sprint ceremonies. Um, this isn't going to track ad hoc meetings or meetings just come up for spur of the moment, but this is just our standard every two weeks. These are the meetings that we have. I do have some color coding here. So the ones that are purple are just leadership folks. So our project manager, our BA, our lead UX strategist, our lead developer, our content strategist, um, and our lead visual designer. The green ones are meetings that everybody attends. And then we've split the sprint planning between dev and design. Um, so if we're doing what we should be doing in the grooming meeting, which is letting everybody know what the task is about and making sure those tickets are fully groomed. And if we've been sh doing our show and tells properly to, so that everybody's seeing you know, what's coming down the pike, then we don't actually need to have um, this full meeting with everybody and take up everybody's time. The sprint meeting, sprint planning meeting to go very long if you try to do both, you know, the dev team and design and content teams together. So I've made that, that split here between dev and then this is actually design and content. And then there's a workshop that um, the project manager, the BA, all the design and content folks and the lead developer attend. And so that, and that's a longer meeting, a four hour meeting, which helps to set up um, what it is that we're actually going to be designing to, to build out. All right, so let's create that table. Oops, slash table. All right, so the properties of the table are actually pretty easy and straightforward. Um, the first one is just going to be the time, and we're going to make that a number. And the second one is going to be the uh, relationship, so staff. And I want to get that ES staff table here. All right, and let's go ahead and do as an example, one of the leadership meetings. So when I'm gonna come in, this is gonna be an hour long meeting and we have our leadership staff. So we're gonna have our content strategist, our BA, our uh, PM, our UX strategist, and our lead developer. Okay, so this is gonna show up now if we go back to our staff table and I open up Sam's I can see I now have this relationship where the meeting he's in is being um, the meeting he's in is being captured here I'm just gonna go ahead and name this to meetings and staff all right and so I'm um, let's go ahead in and add the rest of our meetings into this space Okay, so now that we've got all of our meetings in place and who attends each of those meetings and how many hours they are, let's go back to the staff table and finish this up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in two more properties here. So the first one is going to be um, a roll-up property, which is gonna say how much time is in meetings. And to configure it, I'm going to select the relation for your rehab. So to do a roll up, you already have to have a relationship. And I'm gonna select the time. And you can see it's already pulling in that information. I want it to summarize. I want it to give me the calculation of that. So I'm gonna say sum. Let's move that up here. Okay, so this is where the fun part starts. I'm going to go ahead and calculate out uh, how much time is left over. So I'm going to choose to do this as a formula. 
and I'm going to do the allocation time minus the out of office minus the meeting time. Boom. And so we can see that out of all of that, Sam has 24 hours left to work on each of the projects. And to make this view then correct to showing allocation or utilization and not allocation, let's go ahead and edit the properties. I'm going to turn off responsibilities because if we've written out everybody's responsibilities, that's going to take a lot of space. And I'm going to take off allocation. We can leave content, contact. I'm going to take off out of the office, but I'm going to add their utilization. So we have, you know, who they are, what they do, how much, how many hours they have towards the sprint, um, their contact, once we've added that, and then what team they're on. All right, so that, that's going to end this video where we've talked about just setting this table up. And in later videos, we're going to show how now by doing this setup, by creating this part of our application, it's going to make it a lot um, easier to plan out everyone's time later. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I will see you in the next one. Bye.